In this example, I'm using Rock Tool, and I would like to apply Dirt on this material. In LFO Tools category, I can find Dirt Tool. If I will apply Dirt Tool onto the object, as you can see it allows me to combine Dirt with any other material over Reference node. So as next step, I will assign Rock Material into the Reference node, and as you can see both materials are combined together now. This tool contains also additional node groups, which you can use for controlling tool inputs such as pattern scale. Also, you can control selection input if you would like to have dirt just on selected parts of object. As first step, always choose tool algorithm which provides best result for used object. As example, you can choose from 10 different dirt types. Once you see result which you like, as next step, you can change dirt intensity exactly as you need. And as next step, make sure that pattern and breakup scale are matching properly size of your object. Breakup is very important if you would like to have more natural looking result with minimum pattern repetitions. With breakup intensity, you can control break contribution or softness as well. Breakup range allows you to define breakup shape and as you can see, it's very helpful. All RS tools are supposed to help you speed up workflow and allows you to have full control over every single detail. And this can be very tricky if you are using just standard texture sets. Second option how to apply dirt onto the object is to use our material presets instead tools category. So as first step, I will go to the materials category, dirt folder, and here I can choose predefined dirt preset. I will choose one of this preset and I will apply this material onto the object. As you can see, this material presets contains two parts, dirt tool and base material. This allows you to apply dirt onto the material which is in base section. You can change parameters of this material exactly as you need, or you can plug in standard texture sets as well but in case that you would like to use completely different material instead, use reference node. In my case, I would like to use rock material, so I will assign this material into the reference node. As you can see now, I have proper blend of these two materials. So as next step, I will select dirt tool and I will increase intensity exactly as I need. In this example, I'm using Thin Wall Tool. It allows you to control colors with ramp node and tools parameters as well. If I would like to work more efficiently, I will select ramp node and I will undock its parameters. As next step, I will select RS Tool and I will lock its parameters. Now I have visible all important parameters at the same time. Now I can decide how I will use it. I can keep second attributes window in the place where I like, or I can drag and drop it into the main area instead. And as you can see now, I have full control over all parameters and colors, and I do not need to go back to shader graph anymore. All RS tools are using shader graph because current Cinema Ford node editor does not support Expresso or X groups. But in case that you would like to work in Node Editor and make some additional node connections or material blends in Node Editor instead, you can reference all our tools and materials into the Node Editor with Reference Node. It's the same workflow as I explained already. Use Reference Node and assign Shader Graph material into the material field. In this example, I would like to blend together lava and soil with Height Tool. Height tool is very powerful and allows you to create height selection exactly as you need. Problem is that if you are using sliders to set up coordinates range, you are not able to go lower than 0 or higher than 10. But height selection depends on object size, so very often you will need larger range than is slider range. And in this case, switch UI from slider to the float. As you can see, I'm able to expand height range now, exactly as I need. 